my fashion story time. What's the craziest thing you've seen, heard, or walked in on? Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I got the video to give me issues. Eh? If the video don't work, guys, it is safe to blame Ashley. You have permission. <laughs> Ashley, get ready. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> you guys just ready to start blaming and I'm not going to a chance for Lord. <laughs> Guilty before proving innocent. No, I think this is not your world. You'll do just fine. Confession. My dad and sister's relationship. I've been quiet about this for a few years but it's Reddit so I don't give a sh**. When I was 9, I walked into my parents' room to ask my mom a question and I heard moaning and the bed creaking, which I was used to, since my parents did it a lot, so I went to the kitchen and my mom was standing right there. My heart dropped, and I asked where my dad and sister were, she's 19, also I don't want to say either of their names so I don't expose their identities, and she told me he was helping her with a project. Recently, I got mono and stayed home. My dad is retired, my sister is a college dropout, and my mom is a full-time lawyer, so we were all home except for my mom. I wanted to see if my dad and sister still do the deed after all these years, so I told them I was going on a walk and shut the door. I went back in through the back door and they were doing it on the sofa. Girl when I tell you I ran. Update, important. The reason I didn't come forward before posting this was because I didn't realize that my sister might be being abused by my father. I assumed she enjoyed what she had been doing with my father but I'll try to say something to her about it and I will update you guys. My father is a very violent person and if he even found out that I knew, I would probably end up in the hospital. The only person I'm close with in my family is my mom, and when she's angry she goes hysterical. I know keeping quiet is a bad thing, but coming from someone with two physically and mentally abusive parents, it's scary. Hold on. I think we have more confessions. But we're gonna give we're gonna open the floor for, for just a few minutes while we talk about that one. Um, yeah, just a few minutes, guys, just for seven minutes in total. To raise a hand from no, any hand would all raise up from a card accessing people. We're not taking it. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Going once. Hold on, going once. Twice, you don't raise your hand by no. You have to just wait until the next one. All right, go ahead, Sylvia. Listen, like, the, like first of all, the reason why I never come out is because in the end, you're watching. Second of all, the father needs to be dead. And third, um, boy, that's a sad story. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's look at the next one. And again, if the video doesn't work, you know where to point your fingers. <laughs> so I'm going to pause and read it because I'm Ashley. Hold on. So it says confession. My parents went out to a party and would be back at 3 in the morning. So. So, me and my grandpa were home alone. I called my girlfriend to come over and I wanted an hour. She didn't show up, so I uh, went to go see what my grandpa was doing. Turns out, something my girlfriend and two other teenager girls were something, the, oh, doing the dirty PSI dump her straight up. What a blurry video. Okay. Any thoughts on that, guys? Any thoughts on that? It's not my laptop. The video blurry. Feel free, guys. Can you guys be clear on your phone? Well, their grandfather, they have some fama money, a role or something. Why you think so? Because he did that with young people? Grandpa of sword, man. Yeah. <laughs> so because he didn't do it with young people, he has to have money. So, so wait, yeah. damn it. And which you, you, you know, really had to go look for an old man and do that with him. That's not my type, but that some person have that type. It has nothing to do with money. Some person just have that type. 
<laughs> yeah, and I have nothing to do with money for true because I'm rich that age and I still have to look this young, you see me? So, <laughs> maybe, maybe grandfather look young, you know? So, you're saying swagger up. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm not, you know? Yeah, that's so true. Let's see what else is in this store. Our next story, guys. Ready, ready, ready. <clears throat> I want to share a story about what happened to me in 2020 through the pandemic year, yeah? So I had I had this boyfriend who I loved so much and he loved me too. I was madly in love with with him nonstop. And at the moment, I wanted to be a part of his life. I wanted more. Uh, it was nearly eight months since he started dating, but I was already thinking about being his wife and birthing his children, our children, babies, guys, babies. Whenever we spoke over the phone, we lose track of time, not minding how much MTN was charging us. Okay, it's fine, people. Ten months after we started dating, non so that's I guess the guy named asked him to marry him. Oh my god, ten months after. Some people need five years, these people need ten months. I was happy. Finally we'll be getting married. He came to see parents and they loved him. Okay, that's okay. It was now time to meet his family, but he said his mom was very sick and she won't make it to Candona. Cardona? We settled to meet in his auntie's house in Card- in Cardona since she was part of his family. Next part, guys. We settled. Okay. The introduction was successful as some of his uncles come to. I guess if his uncles came to. Then I'm sure we didn't come. Then we started planning our traditional wedding. My father traveled to the village to make inquiry about the guy's family. I can't say the name yet. Iju In that word, eh? But he heard the shocking news rather in my father's door. I got to the family house and asked about none. So the mother was shocked at my request to see my son. I explained everything to her and her continents changed. She asked her youngest daughter to call none. So his uncle, he came and I repeated my attentions to him and again. And again, he offered me a seat and told me how he died in 2019. And he showed me where they buried his body. I asked about a certain auntie, Chinello, who had welcomed us at his auntie and some son's uncle scream is is my wife she died earlier this year this man is dating this girl is dating a dopey so the auntie chinello is <laughs> she died earlier this year this came as a shock to me i tried calling the guy but his number was panicking i went to his house but everything was empty I, what i decided to visit his auntie chinello but another woman has moved in already his pictures are still on my phone, but I don't know how to explain all of these. It's two years already. I was supposed to be married to this guy on the 30th of December, 2020, only to find out that my guy is a ghost. Her <laughs> imagination is wild. Oh my Her, God. Like, <laughs> Kobe. I need COVID, so I believe. I believe <laughs> All right, listen. Is there more to this? I feel like that's a cliffhanger. I need the rest. I need the rest. Is that all, Ashley? Is there more? That's it. That can't be it. That what? What? That just that not right. <laughs> so one guy in 2019. <laughs> so who did she meet? Because she met them in person. So she met the guy in person, then and she knew him. Look at him. Look at him. Pictures. So she she met. The, oh, um, my brain can't process she was dreaming. Oh, Dang probably it. she's schizophrenic. No more. Does that seem like very vivid dream to dream the both of them? Two you random know, people. You know, Foster's home of imaginary friends. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get, they have one imaginary friend. But he was <laughs> real. So where should you know him from? So you're saying that she did 10 months of dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> that me one that has me, me over but I mean the fact that she met his aunt and then that same aunt is dead how do you explain meeting a dead person this story just some people they also don't prefer to no so them can't see Duffy but they're not married to them sir <laughs> sure okay but, but she didn't want to marry to him do yes but he's dead he's dead he's dead that's what I say just, and in there from 2019 and, and the thing start. is sometimes people see doppies like they must see them in a certain time the fact that she said she never have a phone call with him now imagine if she have a roommate and all this time she not talk to nobody right and she did like kiki kiki and the phone never speak and the friend look at her like tell her man because nobody not there <laughs> I don't know the story is just 
All right, moving on to the next part. Let's see what Ashley has in store. Another video. Oh boy. Ashley, that's wild. Sims 4. Oh. Ashley and her video did. At the first four, never malfunction, you know. It's gonna take a while, guys. So be patient. Any more videos after this, Ashley? No, JD, I'm not here. That's gay. What kind of name that? Let's not. Okay, it's loading. And if you tell me, we're not gonna be mad. I said the Lord's name in vain at school. I said I wasn't going to get angry, and I'm not angry. I went to the petting zoo, and I I let the goat lick my penis. I had a beer with the old biker man at the end of the street, and he let me touch his old lady's titty. Oh, God. I'm pressed. One time I put a firefly in my butthole. Why? To make my farts glow. I shaved the dog and glued the hair to my nutsack so I looked like a grown man. <sighs> I touched myself to Drew Carey on the price is right. Okay, that's enough. Stop, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one thing to say. Parents never ask your children to confess the wrongs that they have done. I mean, not every child is going to confess. Not all of them are going to confess if you really think about it. Some of them will take it to the grave, but I never know. <laughs> <laughs> it just got worse and worse. First, it started out not so bad. It just got worse and worse. It's not. Yeah, for true, for true. But. <laughs> I was like, the shaving the, the ear and gluing it to his testicles. What? The touching the old one's breast. What? Not, not, the, not, the, not the firefly, but. the putting the firefly in his butt so he could uh, have glowing parts. <laughs> How is that supposed to work? It's not like you're it's not like supposed to touch the firefly and then they get the bioluminescent thing on it and then they can glow. And why would you want to see it glow? Because <laughs> <laughs> then when you see this person to the ear, you're like, I farted an hour ago and I can still see particles. When I'm breathing in, I don't want to know that. The least I know. Not UCC students try to understand the mind of a Oh boy. Oh boy. Alrighty.